Mike Stuchiner, Master Herbalist, here with Z Natural Foods. And today's topic of discussion is um, a question I get quite often. It's the concerns about heavy metals in our food supply. <laughs> And today's video is going to be a very direct, straightforward, kind of in-your-face video because one thing that I, as a master herbalist and the company I work for, Z Natural Foods, um, one of the things that we're very big believers in is true transparency and total transparency. So there are a couple of things that people need to really understand and be fully aware of in order to be able to um, move forward regarding this topic. First and foremost, it needs to be understood that heavy metals are everywhere. They're in all of our food supply, no matter where we get them from the world, all over the world. They're in soil, they're in everything that we eat, everything that we use to cook with, everything that we uh, eat on. Heavy metals are just a part of today's world and in the world we live in, it's a part of everyday life. But the thing that people need to understand is, is that these heavy metals are in very, very, very tiny amounts in most cases. And if our bodies are capable of being able to eliminate these heavy metals, then they really will have little to no effects on our long-term health. Now, with that said, it's important to really understand now that the number one thing we can do when it comes to dealing with heavy metals in our food supply and in our supply of everything that we eat, drink, cook on, cook with, etc., etc., is to understand that we need to make our bodies as adaptable as possible, okay? Now, how do we go about doing this? Very easy, very simple. So first and foremost, you want to be a progressive consumer. You want to do your research and you want to read labels, okay? Now, granted, on the label, you're not going to see anything about heavy metals, but you can look at things when it comes to regards to GMO, organic, certified or not certified, and I've done a video that there is very little difference between those two, and as long as it's organically grown, you're perfectly safe, and it's a perfectly good, nourishing, healthy food to eat. It does not need to be certified organic, okay? Um, but reading the label and being conscious of what you're eating is, of course, the first step. Okay, now the next step is to incorporate into your daily lives the use of adaptogen and tonic herbs and foods. Again, I've done several videos on this topic in regards to the idea of what adaptogens do, what tonic herbs do by supporting the body's ability to have a healthy stress response which will give our bodies the capability of adapting and overcoming to the most stressful situations that we deal with every day. Whether we have control over those situations or not, in the big picture is quite irrelevant. It's What's more important is that we're as adaptable as possible. The next thing we can do is to keep as much lean muscle tissue on our bodies as humanly possible. Now, what does that mean? That means for the folks who are looking to lose weight, that they need not look at the scale, that they need to look at how much body fat we're carrying uh, on our bodies on a daily basis and how we can put more lean muscle tissue on us. Remember, toxins have a tendency of storing for longer periods of time in fat than they do anywhere else. And the leaner a person is, the better off they're going to be in the long run when it comes to dealing with health issues and being able to overcome any type of true health issue, okay? And of course, the final thing is to keep our detoxification pathways as clean and clear as possible. Let me reiterate, because I've done a video about this, this does not mean you have to go off and do an extreme cleanse. What this means is simple things that you do on a daily basis, like drinking clean and pure water, using superfoods and herbs that support these different organ systems to keep them working at optimal levels, 
okay? Remember, there's a difference between between nourishing and, and between cleansing. There's a difference between tonifying and between cleansing, okay? So for example, milk thistle is a wonderful herb that helps to support the liver's ability to be able to stay as clean and as healthy as possible. Whereas things like reishi mushroom and goji berry that are rich in polysaccharides, these are things that help to nourish and support the liver. Okay, so while milk thistle would be a great herb to use during certain times of year to support that liver detoxification, at the same time, using reishi and goji berries on a daily basis helps to support that function in itself. Okay, so I really hope that I've, that I've simplified and made this on a more clear and precise way of looking at things when it comes to why Heavy metals are a concern, but why they don't necessarily have to be a concern, and why our food supply is what it is today. And in order to overcome any type of challenges, we want to make our bodies as adaptable as possible. Okay, guys, Mike Stuchino, Master Herbalist, Z Natural Foods. I'll see you soon.